Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how you can use Kaltura's My Media when using your Moodle page. So I have Moodle open and ready to go, and you can see on my navigation menu here, I have the option of My Media. If you don't see your navigation menu, it might just be collapsed, so you just want to make sure maybe if you see this, you can click on the three horizontal lines at the top to make sure that navigation menu is expanded. And you'll see My Media here that you could just go ahead and click on it. My Media is going to be a repository where all of your videos are uploaded to and then you can go and share them to something called a media gallery on all of your Moodle courses. We're going to talk more about the media gallery in later videos. This video is just going to focus on My Media and how you can upload videos into it. So as you can see, this is going to be a portal for all of those videos that you're going to record and that you want to share with your students. So we're going to focus mostly on this Add New button here inside of My Media. And if you go ahead and click on it, you'll see there's a few options here. The first option is going to be Media Upload. Media Upload allows you to take a video that you have previously recorded and put it onto your My Media where you can then share it with your students. Now this media could be a video you may be recorded, maybe it's a Zoom recording that you've downloaded to your computer, basically anything like that you can use the Media Upload option to bring onto your My Media. So I'm going to click Media Upload and search my computer. Now I can also drag and drop a file here if I wish, or I can choose a file to upload. So I have a Loom video that I've recorded, and I'm going to put that onto my My Media. If I want to change the name, I can. The name that will be there is going to be the name that it takes from the name of the file. So if you don't like that file and you just want to change it, you can. So I'm going to just change mine to Loom Recording. And I can add a description here if I'd like. I could also add an image or maybe a link to something. But in this case, I'm just going to keep this blank. You can also add tags, and tags are very important on Kaltura because as you're searching for certain things, you can type in a tag and it will find all of the videos associated with that tag. Most likely, if somebody is searching for, let's say, a tag for Moodle, it'll have all of the videos associated with Moodle and that person can learn more about it. So in this case, we're going to leave that blank, but you can fill that in when you're ready to do that. And here under publishing status, Right now, we're just going to make it private. We don't have the option to publish it so everyone can see it. You have to publish things first privately, so you want to make sure everything is the way that you want it to be, and then you'll choose to publish it later. And we're going to talk more about that later on. Once you're done, you're going to click Save, and you can go to the media itself, or you can go back to My Media, which is what we're going to do, and you can see that your Loom recording has already been added for you. Now the availability of your video depends on how long it, it is. So if you have a recording that's maybe 20 seconds, that's obviously going to show up a lot faster than a recording that's over an hour. So you just want to give it some time for it to upload and process and eventually will show up in your My Media. And you can continue to work around it and continue to do other things while you wait for it. Now the next option we have here under Add New is going to be Express Capture. And Express Capture is a very basic webcam recording of you recording your face, saying something to the students as media. So I didn't upload anything with Express Capture, but if I did, it would have showed up in this section here, just like the Loom recording did. The next option here on our Add New menu is YouTube. And this is exactly what it sounds like. If I want to add a YouTube video and I have a specific video that I'd like to share, I can go to YouTube and I have the video that I want to share up here. So if I click on Share and press Copy, that will then copy it to my clipboard. I can then go back over to Moodle and paste it here inside the box. If you click on preview, it'll take a moment to upload again, depending on how long the video is. And then once it uploads, you can preview it here. Now mine's by default on mute. So if you want to hear the sound, you'll want to make sure you turn the speaker up here. And if you look in the details here, you'll see that all the information that you see is based off of what was in the YouTube description. So you don't have to go and change any of it. You can keep everything exactly the same, or you can add to it if you'd like, or add some tags here as well. As with the other options, you're going to have to put this as private first, and then later you can publish it when you're ready. So we're going to click on Save. 
And then once that saves, we can go back to my media and you'll be able to see the YouTube video has been uploaded right here onto your my media page. Now, one other thing I want to make a note of before we talk about the other option on our add new menu is you'll see that the Loom recording is private, but this how to use Zoom as a student is published. The difference between the two is that this Loom recording has not been published to anyone. No one has been able to see it yet. I haven't shared it with the course. This video, on the other hand, has been shared with the specific Moodle course. So you can tell which one is published and which one is private by just looking at these labels here. Now, the last thing that I want to show you here is going to be under Add New and Lecture Capture. This is a more sophisticated recording where not only can you record your face, but you can also record your screen. So this would be great if you wanted to record a lecture for yourself with maybe a PowerPoint presentation or maybe you wanted to record your desktop. Any of that would be doable here in Lecture Capture. So if I click on Lecture Capture, you're going to see this Kaltura Capture Desktop Recorder pop up. This is a desktop recorder, so it's something that you have to download to your computer. If you haven't done so, you can download for Windows here under Download for Windows and Download for Mac here under Download for Mac. And then once you have downloaded it, you'll be able to use it. For me, I already have it downloaded, so all I have to do is click Open Kaltura Capture, and then it will open up for me. So as you can see, I have my library. I've already uploaded some files onto here, but when I want to upload a new recording, I'm just going to click on New Recording, and you'll see this little application pop up here. So the big red record button is probably nothing new to you. When you're ready to start recording, you're going to click on this red button. It's going to start your recording for you. This is your screen option, so if you want to record the screen while you're talking, meaning your desktop or your PowerPoint or anything like that, you want to leave this as enabled. If you don't want to record your screen, you can turn it off by clicking here and a line will go through it, but we want to record our screen, so I'm just going to enable it. We also have the ability to enable our camera if we want, so if we want our camera showing up of our face while we're talking and the content is being shown, you're going to leave that on as well. And you'll want to leave the audio on because without it they won't be able to hear you. If for any reason you don't want audio and maybe you just want to show how you're going to do something and you don't want audio, you can shut that off as well by just clicking on the little microphone. So when you're ready to record, you're going to click on record. And then you'll see here in the lower right hand corner, it will show up where you'll start with the countdown and you'll have the ability to stop or pause your recording. And we're actually going to use the example of a PowerPoint presentation. Now I have a PowerPoint open and ready to go here and my PowerPoint is not in protection mode. So I can, sometimes it'll say enable editing when you first open up a PowerPoint presentation. So you wanna make sure that that is enabled and your presentation is here. When you're ready, you're going to click the slideshow from the beginning. And now with the arrows on your keyboard, you can navigate through the PowerPoint presentation just like I'm doing here. You'll see here in the right hand corner where this little timer showing up, you have the ability to annotate as well. So I can click on the little pencil here and choose a color if I want. So if I want red, let's say, and you wanna make sure you tell Kaltura what you want to do. So we want to draw and you can then highlight and annotate on your slides. Now, one thing I want to recommend is that when you go to the next slide, you want to make sure you clear your drawings. If you don't, those drawings will carry over, over to the next slide. So we're gonna clear our drawings, and you also wanna make sure when you go to the next slide that you click on the annotation pen again, so that way it knows you're done with it. And I like to click on my presentation so it knows that I have, I'm on the presentation and then you can continue to navigate through it just like this. So when you're done going through your presentation, you're going to click on the uh, stop button and that will stop the recording and you are sure that you want to stop that. And then you're going to have two screens here, one of your screen capture and one of whatever your video is. Now, if you don't like the thumbnail picture that they've chosen for you, it's not a problem. You can always change that later on when you go edit your video. So we're going to click save and upload. Now, this just means that it's uploading it to your My Media. And if you want to change the title here, you can as well. So we can just change ours to August 14th and the time that we've done it and press save and upload. 
and that will then start the uploading process to my media. Now it really depends on how long your video is as to how long it will take to get onto my media. If I go back over to my media here and I click on it, it might have already started to process, but it probably isn't ready yet. But again, you do not have to wait for it to pop up. You can work on other things. And when it's done uploading to your My Media, it will automatically show up. So while we are waiting for that, I want to show you the last option here, which is the video quiz option. Now, we aren't going to go over how to do that in this video. We're going to do it in another video. But what it basically allows you to do is take a video that you've recorded and record a quiz over it. So that way the students as they watch the video can take a quiz and that quiz is gradable and it will integrate with your Moodle gradebook. So we are going to save that for another video, but you do have that option here as well. Um, you also can search my media here by clicking on search my media and type in whatever tags or words that are associated with your video. And you can also search for filters here. If you want to filter to look for certain videos, you can do that by ownership or captions or how long the video is. So as you can see, our video has finally shown up here. It did take a couple of minutes for that to come over. So I'm gonna go ahead and press on the video here so you'll see that there's a play button here and you can start playing the video here. The ability to stop you can go sure through the video that that if you enabled. want. Now, if you'd rather have the PowerPoint presentation be the main screen and then your face be on the bottom, you can toggle the view like that. And that will then show the PowerPoint presentation as the main thing and you will be in the lower right hand corner. So you can see how this and works. And your presentation is here. When you're ready, you're going to click the slideshow from the beginning. And now with the arrows on your keyboard, you... So as you can see, the Kaltura Lecture Capture takes your lecture. It not only shows your presentation or your screen, but it also shows yourself. So it is a little bit more of an advanced application rather than just the Express Capture that will be a quick webcam recording of yourself. So we're going to go back to my media here. And that's basically it. Those are the basics of getting started with my media. And in other videos, we're going to go over how you can edit a video in my media and how you can publish a video to your media gallery on one of your Moodle pages.